is Bruce from Safari, and we're here today to have a look at our dual color LED and our switching. Uh, just before we do that, just a reminder on the Sign Marine system here, which the switch is matched to. Uh, we're showing here batteries, uh, we're showing tanks, and we've now got our new LPG sensor over here, which is the uh, magnetic one, which attaches to the bottom of the gas bottle. It will now appear, and uh, temperature, and of course our pitch and roll here um, on the inclimiter. So let's just go back to our sleep screen here. But we're here to look at these switches. Uh, these are in a um, alloy, a machined alloy, uh, matte finish, powder coated, direct matching of color to the uh, Cymarine system, same height as the Pico display. Um, and we're showing two lots here. And I'm just going to uh, turn this switch on. And what you can see here is the LED lights come on, but you'll also see the left-hand switches come on. And that's because you can have two of these, say, on either side of the canopy, or you can have uh, one switch um, in an ensuite and the other at the front. And when you activate one light uh, using this switch, if you've got a parallel switch anywhere else, it will also light up so the left hand knows what the right hand is doing. Um, the names on these switches here uh, are customised, um, uh, engraved, laser engraved to exactly what your needs are. And in this case, uh, we've got here water pump, that one kitchen. Um, you can have two lines of seven letters per line describing exactly what it is. Now, as we dim this light down, so we're dimming it, they're all dimmable. And as we dim it down, you'll see that the blue surround LED dims as well. It's just very faint there now. If I turn it off and on again, then it returns back to the state that it was at. And then I hold my button again, it's now going up in brightness. Uh, so that one there is a warm white. This one here is a blue light that we've got, uh, just purely for demonstration purposes, uh, dimming it up and down. Um, but now we come to the exciting part, which is the dual color LED. So let me just turn this one on, and we can see that this is a square light. It's, uh, I'll show you the detail of this on this uh, second sample here. Um, it has a rare earth magnet on the back, uh, two of these, in fact, um, and that's screwed to the roof, and that just pops up and is held on the roof. Uh, extremely unlikely that that will let go with uh, two of them there, and the two of them pushed out, stop the light from uh, turning. So uh, all you need to be able to do is secure two rare earth magnets on the roof or under the cabinet, and that light will fit up there. Uh, it's available in a square um, or a round, and it's also available um, with um, spring connectors. Now, as we dim this light down, the white will dim until we get to a trigger point. And once we get to a trigger point here on the uh, dimming, I'm just going to hold it, it changes to amber. Um, we have a patent on this. So this dual color LED uses one switch, but off that one switch, it will change based on the dimming level to the outer color here, uh, the amber, or um, when we put it up in brightness, it will then switch back to the white. So it means you only need one switch channel for the dual color. The color doesn't have to be amber, but our standard is cool white in the middle, amber on the outside. Now this one here is on a strip light. So when I turn this one on, it's bright light, white, and as I dim this and turn this down, It'll keep dimming and then it'll finally switch to an amber light. So we dim one light down and then it switches over to amber. Turn it on and off, it'll return to the amber. And as I hold my finger on it and increase it, it switches back uh, to the white. Um, and that's the dual color. Now the connection between these that you'll see now on the footage behind is simply an RJ45 that goes to a uh, what we call our Smart I.O. board, and on the Smart I.O. board, um, we've got three circuits here that can be fused up to 10 amps, and one um, that's always LED, so you can have water pump, light bar, um, any devices at all up to three, they're all fused, and you can have this switch um, up to 10 metres away from the actual I.O. board, um, and it's just an RJ45 connector between the two. And if you want to join uh, two of the switches together, then it's just one of these simple parallel connectors that you can see here. 
um, the I.O. board is also um, patented. Now let's just have a look now with our remote control here. And if I hit this remote control once, uh, we've got the, look the white light here, and I've programmed the button on this side to change it to the amber. So I just hit that once, and that light will go out. We now go into the amber. I hit this one twice, and it turns the whole light off. Similarly over here, I press this one once, we've got amber on the outside light. I press that one once, we change to white, twice, turns off. So we've got dual color LED, single channel, switches, we've got remote control, and we can also do it on the smartphone. I'm gonna keep that demo uh, for another day. Thank you very much for watching. As the cold wind howling through the 